Hey guys, how you doing? Gavin here from uh, Star Fresh Personal Training in the uh, Growing Younger program. And one of the biggest questions I get asked is how many calories do I need to lose weight? Or gain weight, doesn't matter. But for the purposes of this video, it's going to be how to uh, lose weight. So, so basically, I'm streaming on the two ones. I'm start, streaming to Start Fresh. I'm streaming to Growing Younger. So I'm kind of uh, looking in between. Um, so if I'm not looking directly at you, it's just because I'm looking at two kind of cameras. It's all very tech savvy here. Anyway, start off with a couple of questions, all right? So if you're somebody um, that uh, struggles to lose weight, uh, some that yo-yo diets, somebody that is just uh, wanting to start a New Year's resolution, um, and you really need to know how many calories you need, uh, you may be searching for answers. Well, this video is essentially going to give you the answer that you need, all right? So I'm Gavin. I'm a um, functional aging specialist, um, and I work with people who are um, overweight, over 45, and who suffer from lifestyle-related diseases such as diabetes, um, uh, obesity, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and who suffer with niggles, aches and pains, knee issues, back issues, shoulder problems, okay? And what I do is my role, I'm the, the co-founder uh, co of the Growing Younger program, which is with Alex, uh, my business partner here, um, and we design a tr fully training program around your needs to help you get your life back on track and essentially help you grow younger, okay? And so, first thing I'm going to do is um, how many calories do you eat a day? That's the first question I'm going to ask you. How many calories do you actually eat a day? All right, can you answer that question? It's probably likely that you can't, okay? Um, so, I'm going to ask you the next thing how many calories that um, are in an easy food like banana or an apple? How many calories in there? Do you know what that is? Um, if you know the answer, type it down below. It'd be really cool. Um, see if you know. Um, and how many calories in your chocolate treat? So let's just say uh, one of those little favorites, uh, how many calories are, um, are in there? And if you know, pop a question uh, answer in the, uh, in the bottom below. So you have the que So what I'm gonna do is put this into perspective, okay? How many calories do I need a day is really sort of um, objective. It's based on, or sorry, subjective. It's, it's based on lots and lots of factors, how much you exercise, how much weight you carry, um, you know, all those sorts of things, how, what types of food you eat, your, your, your metabolism, all those sorts of things, right? And it's very similar to asking somebody, how, how long does it take to walk 5Ks? Well, it's different. It's different for everybody, depending on your fitness level and all those sorts of things, right? And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a funny question to ask. It's, it's like, how long is a piece of string, all right? Um, another question I get asked all the time is, how, many, uh, how much weight do you need to use at the gym? Well, it depends where exercise you're using, how strong you are, how long you've been training for. It's some, these are all things that are very individualized and some things that you must test yourself. And we often look for the internet for answers. We ask other people for answers. Um, and you kind of get lost with lots and lots of information that's probably not that useful to you. Okay, And you know it's the same with any job. If you're in a job or you're an accountant or any kind of job, you're going to work with numbers, all right? And, you, and you, those numbers will essentially decide how well the, the business is going, whether it's profit or loss, um, you know, how many sales you made, or how many things you, uh, how many, like, when I used to be an engineer, how many components you made. They're all based on numbers. And based on those numbers, you can basically, um, you know, make your job better, more profitable, um, and you know if you're on, on track to hit the targets. Very, very similar to weight loss. It's no different, okay? You need to kind of track these numbers. And... Think of it like this, okay? Um, you know, you, you keep an eye on your bank, your bank details, and you know, how much money you've got in the bank. Because you need to you need a budget, you need to be able to pay the bills, and you need to be able to um, not be in debt, to, you know, to pay for things, holidays, whatever, wherever that is for you, right? And weight loss shouldn't be any different. You need to know what you're doing to be able to make a change, if that makes sense, right? Now, there's lots and lots of uh, ways to determine your calories for a start, right? And one of the best ones out there is the uh, the Mifflin equation. You can actually Google Mifflin equation and is or calorie um, calorie counter, and it'll basically um, give you tons and tons of different uh, calculators that you can use to 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 find how many how many calories you need. But the problem with that is that although they're kind of accurate to a point, they you know obviously it's a collection of data from lots and lots of people, uh, which which isn't individualized. It's just you know. It's just an accumulation of data based on certain average size individual. Um, and what the the, uh, the Mifflin equation does is gives you your basic metabolic rate. Then what it does, it helps you calculate how active you are. Um, you a number. And that number is essentially how many calories you need to stay the same weight based on um, your, your your metabolic rate and your exercise. 
Um, and the problem you've got with that is that, you know, somebody who's exactly the same weight as me, you might have different calories burns to somebody else, depending on how hard you exercise, uh, you know, what your metabolism is, as I just said about. And you're going to really, really struggle, all right? You're going to really struggle to find a real answer. So what might happen is you might think it's a load of nonsense because the, the calorie spits out 2,500 calories per day that you need. And trust me, I've been using this calculator on my clients for years, and it's, it's so inaccurate. It's not funny. Um, so you might start to eat 2,500 calories a day. And then what happens? Over the course of a week, you're going to start to put weight on. Two weeks, you're going to put even more weight on. And you're going to think that it doesn't work. It doesn't work is because you've never tested it. You've just gone by what an online calculator has given you. And it's not individualized. It isn't for you, right? And so be, with that in mind, okay, I'm going to give you two strategies now that you can use and take away. You can implement tomorrow if you really want to to help you lose weight. And within seven days, I'm pretty much guarantee you're going to see a result either or, okay? Now, as I said, as I keep saying in these videos, okay, um, fitness tips and stuff, can be implemented straight away, but they take a little bit of time and a little bit of consistency to, to yield results, all right? So you just need to bear with me for a second or maybe a week or two, and you literally just need to do this one one or two things consistently over time. So the first thing you can do is um, strategy is to simply track your calories, okay? And you might think it's laborious and there's lots of work, but seriously, the amount of information you're going to know about yourself in the next two weeks is going to be the strategy that you need to never ever have to diet again and i hate the word diet anyway but once you know what you're doing you can always tweak it it's, it's, it's incredible right so my fitness pal is one of the one of the best apps you can use for that i use it personally uh, I, I usually get my clients to use it as well and um, my fitness pal is a free app you can download there is a premium version which you don't actually need but you can download it so i suggest you download my fitness pal if you haven't got it and when you log in, it's going to give you a bunch of information. It's going to tell you how many calories it, it thinks you need based on the information you put in. Completely ignore it. Just go with the number it pumps out. The numbers are relevant right now. And then what you're going to do is that for the course of a week, you're going to just track what you eat. You're going to track your breakfast, what you drink, any treats, any sweets, wines, whatever. Just don't do anything different. Just do what you always do. And the reason being is that over the course of a week or two, you're going to understand so much about yourself and more importantly, you're going to know exactly how many calories that you consume on a week to stay the same as you are. Now, once you got that information, then you can look, then you can sort of, um, you know, start to impact on it. So you can use MyFitnessPal, or if you're somebody that, that likes to, you know, write stuff down, it's a bit of a laborious way to do it. You can head to a website called um, nutritiondata.self.com. And what that does, it's a huge library of different foods, and you go in there and you can you can you know you can get it all all from there and write it all down. My fitness pal is much better because simply you can scan food and it goes straight in there. Okay. Strategy number two: use the Mifflin equation. Type in your details, get a number from Mifflin. Okay. Then what you're going to do is um, for one week buy a bunch of ready meals, frozen ready meals um, that equate to whatever it says. So let's just say it says you need 2,000 calories a day. Then you know. Um, you can get four or five um, frozen meals per day that's going to take you up to 2,000 calories. All that does is it takes the thinking about cooking and anything else, and you're just going to calorie control your diet. So, you know, you're going to eat 2,000 calories a day for a course of a week. See, so, way at the beginning, way at the end, see what happens. If, you if your weight hasn't changed or you weigh the same, whatever it is, then you can maybe take meal out and then have only three or four meals, which is going to take your calories down by 400. Because usually those ready meals are about 400 calories. So that's roughly what it is, right? Um, and you can do it that way as well. Two, two ways. Um, the first way is by far the better way because you're actually testing yourself with the foods that you enjoy and you already eat. And that's the whole thing is that you need to make this familiar with yourself. All right. So, you know, eat the foods that's familiar to you and, and, and do it. Then, you're gonna test it, okay? So let's just say you weigh out at day one, Monday morning, you're gonna do either strategy for the um, the week, and then come Sunday, what's happened? Well, if you haven't lost any weight, it means you've eaten too many calories or you've eaten enough calories to break even. So then what you're gonna do, instead of doing a massive calorie deficit, you're just gonna reduce your calories by 200, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing for the next week, and then you're gonna test again. And there's a good chance you're going to lose some weight at that, at that point, okay? So the, the second week, you're going to lose some weight. Um, because you've obviously taken 200 calories from your diet, 
over the course of the week that's about 1400 calories 1400 calories is a lot of weight is a lot of calories to to be in a deficit and that's going to be be the trick then you're going to exactly know what you need to do all right so the point of this whole thing is all right is that you have no idea how many calories um, that you eat on a daily basis and this little test is going to help you understand how many calories you need and there's so many people that go calorie counting doesn't work it's not good for you it causes eating disorders you know what it's not something you have to do forever it's just something you need to do to find out what your base number is it's just like you know keeping an eye on your bank account just like keeping the eye on your numbers and stats okay and essentially you know people say that calorie counting doesn't work it does work because if i'm going to put it to put this to you eat nothing for a week and see what happens i pretty much know you're going to lose some weight quite clearly you're not eating any calories it's no different you're just in a way of controlling it, okay really really um easy thing for you to do so as i said the point of the whole thing is that you don't know how many calories you need to lose weight because you're searching for a solution this is a good way to do it and i'm going to tell you a little story when I was losing my weight, and if you don't know, I've, I've lost over 20 kilos. I've kept that, that weight off for the last um, eight years now. And what's, um, you know, there's nothing you know, amazing about that. But this fun fact is 90% of people that lose weight regain it, okay? Um, and I'm very much in that 10% of people who lose weight and keep it off. But when I was learning how to do all this stuff, I thought I was being healthy because I was eating lots of fruit. And one thing I was doing, I was eating this or this i was actually in um peaches right i was eating a can of peaches with some yogurt every single day and guess what i couldn't lose any weight no matter what i thought i was doing i was eating fruit i was eating yogurt healthy but let's think about this for a second this tin of, of pineapple slices and pineapples are really really good for you lots of antioxidants all other good stuff is actually three servings right and there's 85 calories per serving, okay? So you're looking at about 250 calories for the whole of tin. Not only that, there is 20 grams of sugar per serving. So I was, so the peaches actually had more calories than this. So I was smacking down about 60 to 80 grams of sugar, maybe three to 400 calories just on fruit. That is why I couldn't lose weight. So what I did was I kind of realized, hang on, this isn't quite right, what am I doing wrong? Took, took a bit more attention and paid uh, paid attention to the back of this. Um, yeah, you can see it there. Like you can see, it. Um, eighty-five calories, servings, twenty grams or eighteen grams of sugar. Then what I thought, I thought I'm going to start using my fitness pal and track this stuff, see what I'm doing. Exactly the same way I've just explained to you. Then I realised I was eating a lot of calories from good food, and that was help. That was making me, you know, put loads of weight on and not lose weight at all. So I decided to go for the portion sizes on the back of the tin. Guess what? First week, lost some weight. Brilliant. Kept on doing it, lost more weight, lost more weight. And then I was able to understand a bit of a revelation. Oh my God, if I if I do this, you know, I'm literally in, in complete control of what I need to do. Um, and that and that that is how I did it. And that's the best way for you to get started. If you're somebody that's struggling with losing weight and you need to know how to do it, use this strategy because straight away you're gonna know exactly what you do. I pretty much guarantee you that in the next two weeks you're going to start losing weight and it's going to be the weight that you've been struggling to lose all this time. Really cool. So think of it like this. Calories are like a bank budget, all right? That's the, the part thing. If you go over your spending limit in your bank, then you will go in debt. Therefore, you will gain weight. If you come under, okay, then you obviously got a little bit of, um, you know, money left in the bank um, uh, for savings for, and that will help you lose weight. And if you, if you spend your exact limit, then you neither gain or lose, all right? The thing about that carries are a budget and you literally are in control of how you spend them. If you control how you spend them, you can lose weight up and down. And that's pretty much it. Hope it on too long, right? But um, hopefully if you um, if you did like this video, guys, right, it'd be really cool if you could just give me a like or a share um, or a comment in below. What are your thoughts? What are your experiences? Um, you never know, you know, this might just be the one thing that you need to do to, to help you, um, you know, help you get, get in, in, in control of your weight. Um, so, like I said, you know, I really enjoyed making this video for you. It's really cool to, to give you some insight into how I do it and how I kind of, uh, on the surface level, you know, go through with my clients. Um, and I hope you get some value from it. Okay. So, like I said, if you do do enjoy it, give me a like, a thumbs up. And um, if you are somebody that's struggling though, if you are like, you know, struggling with your weight and, and injuries, I'm not sure what to do and all those other things. Okay? I'm going to pop a link in below. 
and it's literally just to speak to us. It's about joining our Growing Younger program um, and working with us, um, and we can go into this in a lot more detail. Um, like I said, as you know, it's not for everybody, it really isn't, but at least you can do, we can have a chat about it. Um, we can, I can explain to you in a bit more detail what the Growing Younger program is all about and how we can help you, how it's set up, how it runs, and maybe 20, 2019 is gonna be the year for you to, um, you know, to, to get, a, get control of your health. Um, and just grow younger with it, okay? You don't just because you're older doesn't mean you have to um, grow old per se. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. Um, take it easy, start fresh. Like I said, if you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers, guys.